What's going on guys? This is my crazy experience to having contact with another being in meditation. So if you was on this playlist watching my Block Island experiences and if you've seen the other two videos, you probably already know what this is about. I had some really unique experiences, not totally because I had these experiences before, but how they felt was different. The energy was different. And I don't know what to credit it to. Is it my everyday meditation routine? Could be. Was it the intermediate fasting? It could be, because it helps. It does. Was it the island itself? Because I heard that it has a lot of energy. Could be, because it does. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know, to be honest. So I'm not going to say that I do. But I went through my normal routine. We worked long hours. We went to Club Soda. We had a couple sodas. And we had some food. We didn't have sodas. We had some food. Came back and boom. I'm just out. Exhausted. Right? This is the same night actually as the lucid dream. So if you've seen that video, you kind of know how that day went. I pass out. I'm in La La Land. Having a fantastic dream. Not the lucid one. That came later. Having a fantastic dream. Loving life. Boom. Five o'clock came. I'm up. I'm like, ah. First, I actually think I went to the bathroom. Yes, I did. I thought, hey, if I go to the bathroom, I'll be more aware. So when I meditate, I'm not going to be that sleepy and I won't fall asleep so I could actually have a good solid focus meditation. All right. Now, earlier that day, I was talking to my boy, Roberto, and uh, another friend of mine, Jeff, about like aliens and um, guys that I listen to sometimes on YouTube, David Wilcock. And some guy named Corey Good. Look that up. Corey Good and David Wilcox. It comes on Gaia TV. Look that up. Gaia TV. Well, Corey Good has been in a secret military program since he was six years old, and he had a lot of contact with extraterrestrial beings and interterrestrial and celestial beings and all other beings that you can, we got labeled, you know? And we're watching videos on this and he's telling how he has contact about these video, uh, these aliens and what kinds that he met. And it was so bizarre. And if you guys want to hear more about that, cause I, I, I watch it quite often. Uh, please let me know. Leave a comment on there. But from there, I was like, you know what? Uh, if you was watching me back in the day, you'll see that I used to attempt to do the same. And I had success. But I didn't follow through. So I was like, you know, it won't hurt. Since I'm meditating anyway. I was already deep. And I was to the state that I know that I can start, you know, trying things out. Mine was completely silent and I was doing my mantra saying that I'm not my body, I'm not my mind, I'm not my body, I'm not my mind. And the energy was crazy in that room. Boy, <laughs> I think that helped a lot. Cause I was like, you know, I would love to contact one of those beings. I was like, I don't want to contact no gray. I don't want to contact no tall gray. I don't want to contact no tall white. Then I was like, let me stop saying that because they'll probably pop up. And uh, we're just focusing, going deep, going deep, just going forward, just focusing. And then when my mind got really silent enough, I had like a, a 30 second window 
and it was like BAM! Oh, that was so intense. I just seen all through this session I was seeing like faces boom boom they pop in like you see the whole silhouette but this was like boom I seen this blue beam seen his eyes and I seen a circle right here like a third eye but I think it was like a metal plate right there and it was just extremely blue it wasn't anything that I seen a picture of before um, of course, there's a lot of talks about blue beans, but it wasn't like one of those that I seen or heard of. It was like, boom! It stuck itself right there where I can see in my meditation. And it was such a heavy, good feeling vibration. And as soon as that happened, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. When you go into deep meditation, but you have no idea where your physical body is anymore. And it feels like you're rotating and swirling. And that's what it felt like. I was like... And I was vibrating at the same time. Just rotating, swirling, and vibrating. Imagine that. <laughs> With all that energy. I was like, oh, freaking A. And I was like, okay, I'm going to just astral project. Like, there's no avoiding this if I wanted to. I'm just going to just shoot the hell out. And I was nervous because I didn't know what was on the other side. And my mind was racing. And my heart was pounding. I could feel it. Just boom, 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 boom. And I was just <sighs> trying to calm down. And I heard... Relax. Then I start. Then I seen it again. Boom. Just looking. And the same energy came back. And I was like, God damn. But I think that I was getting too overwhelmed to come out of body. And actually experience it in full. I don't know what would have happened. So let me not try to explain that at all, cause I don't know. But that and that that energy was intense, and that happened, let's say like four different times. But I seen other faces, other beings that I necessarily didn't want nothing to do with. I seen a face of a gray. I seen a a face of some weird kind of long headed being and I see normal faces but I was all set except for the normal face I was like yeah you know it's all right <laughs> you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna get terrified but at the same time I knew that my fear level was too high to do any kind of contact as I was meditating I felt heavy energy coming to the room again. Man, my fear level just shot up again. I was getting to the point like maybe all of the energies that I'm going to come in contact is way too much for me to handle. And it's just going to terrify me because I haven't felt anything like that. Or if I have, it has just been an extremely long time since. And I knew at one point there was something like right here. And I didn't want to open up my eyes and see some crazy shit. Because <laughs> so, so, I knew I wasn't ready. <laughs> when you're in the, the astral, it's different. Your mind works different. Your mind is extremely calm. When you're not, that's a whole other story. <laughs> so uh, I was not fooling myself. I was like, I'm not, I don't want to see some fucking tall shit. They ain't got no skin standing in front of me. I was like, I don't want to see no fucking, you know? So I kind of knocked that away if I had an opportunity there. But it was, it was a great experience. And I will do it again. I would just have to be more prepared. So... 
when there's a will there's definitely a way most of the time it doesn't happen because it only happens with will like they they can't um just come and get you because it'll be violating your will unless if you had some kind of contract in past life or so on and so forth but let me wrap this video up thank you for sticking with me now if you liked it thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down if you had any kind of experiences like that definitely let me know if you can help me out with this experience leave a comment um share this video on reddit facebook wherever this is thompson tv next thursday i will have a video for you thanks for watching peace